Yo, it's your boy the Android Doctor back again with another video. So I'm here with a Motorola G85 Android phone and in this video I'll be showing you how to set up the secure folder. Okay, so before I actually explain how to set it up, I'm going to explain first of all what the secure folder is all about. Okay, so the secure folder is a feature designed to protect your most sensitive applications and media. And it also acts as a separate secure space on your phone that requires a unique pin or password to gain access to your private files, data and also applications. Okay, so now that I've explained that, I'm just going to take you through the steps and show you how to set up the secure folder. Okay, so on the home screen here, you will see the Motorola folder. Go ahead and select it. And then here you will see Moto Secure. Just go ahead and open up the application. And then just select that little X there to close it down. And then here you will see Secure Folder. Go ahead and select the option. And here it just explains Secure Folder, one protected place for your sensitive data. Go ahead and hit Continue. And then it explains Protected Content, Apps, Add apps, media and files to your secure folder. Go ahead and select the arrow to continue. And then it explains disguised icons. Hide your secure folder in plain sight by applying a generic icon to your app. Go ahead and hit the arrow to continue. And then here it will ask you to log in to your Google account. So log into your Google account to automatically update apps and backup data. However, I'm going to skip this option for the purpose of the video. However, I recommend that you do log into your Google account. Okay, so I've already got my fingerprint set up as my lock screen security and everything. So I'm just going to go ahead and log in. And then it's going to spin for a few moments. Just give it some time. Okay, so now it requires you to choose a lock for your secure folder. So there's three different options, pattern, pin, and password. So I'm going to select pin. So I need to enter a pin code. So I'm going to keep it simple for the purpose of the video. One, two, three, four, five, six. I recommend you using a strong password. What's not easy, guess guessable. And also write it down as well. So hit next. And then you will need to enter it again. So you will need to type it in twice. Then hit confirm. And then it will ask you to set up a fingerprint unlock. I've already got it set up. So I'm going to skip that part. So now I'm in the secure folder, as you can see. Okay, so how this works is, okay, let me show you all something real quick before I forget. So now that I've created the secure folder, if I swipe up on the home screen, you will now see a new secure folder there in the app drawer. So just open it up, enter your password to gain access. Okay, so like I was mentioning, how this works is now, to keep everything safe, you will need to use the applications from within the secure folder. Because if you use any of the applications outside of the secure folder, nothing will be safe. Okay, so for example, if I select the little plus sign here, and select apps, then select add apps, and I select camera because I want to keep my pictures and videos safe. Any new pictures and videos that I take, I want to keep them hidden away from the praying eyes. <laughs> I would select the camera and also the photo application and then hit the little tick there, then hit okay. 
And as you can see now, I have the photo application there and also the camera application. Okay, so if I, I'm, I'm, I'm outside of the secure folder right now, I'm no longer in the secure folder. So I'm outside the secure folder and I open up the camera application. Okay, so this phone is here and I take a picture of this phone and also record a video. Okay, let's move the phone. Okay, so remember people, I'm outside of the secure folder and I've just recorded a video and took a picture of this phone. So if I go into the photos, as you can see, my video is there, what I've just recorded. And also the picture that I just took. Okay, so now if I go into the secure folder, enter my password to get in. And now if I use the camera within the secure folder to record the orange and the apple. So let's take a picture. and record a video real quick. Hold on, let's just give the camera access to the secure folder. Okay, so if I take a video now of the apple and the orange, And then I go to the photos application within the secure folder. As you can see, the video that I just recorded is there, perfectly safe and hidden within the secure folder. Also the pictures that I just took are perfectly hidden within the secure folder. And if I come out of the secure folder and go back to the photos outside of the secure folder, as you can see, the apple and the orange pictures that I've just taken cannot be found anywhere. That's because they're perfectly hidden within the secure folder. as you can see. So yeah, it's a really cool way to hide your pictures and your videos and also your applications. Um, here, if you select the plus sign again, you can add files. So you can, add, you can add any pictures or any videos or any documents, even music by selecting any of those options. And up here in the top right hand corner, I'm going to show you all something else as well. You will need to log into your Google account. So let me just log into my Google account real quick. And as you can see, it's spinning, it's about to log in. And as you can see now, we have a Play Store icon there. So if you select this option here, You can, for example, say, okay, so supposing I download the Timu Shop Like a Billionaire application, it will automatically save to the secure folder. It won't save outside of the secure folder. That's because I'm using the Play Store that's within the secure folder. 
Okay, so it's finished downloading. So let's come out of here. Okay, so I'm back on the home screen. So remember, I've just downloaded that Timu application outside of, I mean, inside of the secure folder. But I'm outside of the secure folder now. So as you can see, the Timu application is not showing up anywhere outside of the secure folder. But if I log back into the secure folder, as you can see, the application is showing up within the secure folder. So like I mentioned, once you use the Play Store within the secure folder, all your newly downloaded applications will automatically be saved within the secure folder. It's just to keep everything safe and nobody will be able to get access to anything what's inside that folder, the secure folder. So yeah, that's it for the video. Hope this video helped you out. Be sure to give it a thumbs up, share the video. It's your boy, the Android Doctor, and I'm out. See you in the next one. Deuces.